Well, this is unexpected. Hello, mushroom guy. I didn't realize you were somewhere I could go. Uh, oh. You have found us here. This, this is good? This is good. We, we require, we require duplicate. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Th thank you. This diagram? I thought maybe I could bring you my cards and you could... But okay, I'll just leave. I think we're gonna save... Tech guy for right at the end. We'll go deal with the wizard. Because the tech guy is like who I'm after. Ooh. Well, this is interesting. Let's first go to the chest before we pick up the note. The inside of the chest is covered with a sticky green goo, but you found a card pack. Magical cards! Which is good, because I don't know how to use magical cards, so... I love having some. Alright, what does the note say? The note reads... Greetings! If you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for my whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Interesting. Well, let's pick this thing up. Strange monocle, you put it on. Ooh, interesting. I'm a robot wearing a monocle. Skull. Wing. Skull. Okay, well, I'm assuming the trader's this way. Yep. Okay, well, I'll, can I do something to this book? Ah, this is all the cards. How many tech cards are there? Oh, a lot that I don't have. Okay. Nice to see you, buddy. Is this door locked or...? Okay. Skull wing skull. Well! This is unexpected. Are you the... Jar of failure or whatever that I found. Where are we, dude? Ah, oh, the pen is unbearable. My organs are melting. Do you see? Magnificence turned me into ah oh, goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger, then, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master as one of his prized cards. Oh, nothing will stop me. Interesting. I found a bottle of goo and I didn't know what to do with it. Hmm. Oh, while it's on there, it provides a green gem to its owner. I see. So that's how you get gems. You need those cards. This is a cool background, all spacey. All right, let's go like this. So you, so they're like ants, but if I kill this, then they can't really do much. Let's just put you up as a defense piece. See, now they're, they can't attack because their green gem is off the board. We'll put you down, say, here. Good, we're blocking some serious attacks. Okay, that's fine. Uh, are we doing five damage? We're gonna actually sacrifice you to place you here, because you'll smack all of these guys, and then we'll put you here to kill the gem, and then we're out of energy. 
There we go. So now none of them can attack. We'll put you here to kill. And we just have to hope they don't get another green gem. Is this why you were turned into goo? Because you rely so heavily on green gems and you don't have that many of them? Um, I want to play you. Come on. One more turn. Ooh. Who doesn't do that much damage? Um, we'll kill you, because we'll get way more damage this way. Which translates into f more foils. Nice! We almost got as many foils as we have in total this one game. Come on, buddy, you're dead. No! Please! Please! Just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. Well, he might know the difference because I need to beat you to challenge him. Okay, so this gives us... That's actually interesting. That's like an interesting way to play. Here, I can open the door for you. Oh! Okay, thank you. Am I still wearing a monocle? I am. I'm snazzy. Wait, wait, wait. I saw something. Go back. I thought this was like a weird floorboard, but no. Okay, back up we go. The geography in this place doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Card pack. Oh, nothing particularly interesting. Alright, what's this? The dummy stares lifelessly back at you, then suddenly springs into motion. Okay, that's not good. Oh, these are all like practice. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Interesting. Well, we're gonna play a skeleton. That was useful. Um, then we'll play Miner. I guess if we just cuddle in this corner... You know? I need to kill you because you're not gonna huddle in the corner, you're gonna try and run away. I want you to huddle in this corner. I don't want you to attack the dummies because I feel like something happens. So we're just gonna stay huddled in the corner until we can eventually do something. This will do one damage. We then play... We hit you with a hammer. So that we can play one... We can play you... Okay, that was a weird fight. I don't know if something would have happened if I detected the dummies. Dummies hinders Creek back into position and then returns to his lifeless stance. Okay, what happens if I... let's not look at it again. What's with this hole? Ooh, okay, and I go! Oh, is this just a fast way to go to Hound? Okay. No, stop that. Because you go up one way and then you're facing the other way and then you go backwards. Okay, now what? Do I need to attack it? Oh, I see. Skull. Skull. Hand. Skull hand wing. Okay. Seems simple enough.
that's actually quite a good mechanic where it's not about actually winning the fight, because winning the fight's not all that hard. But it's about, like, figuring out the code. Skull Handwing. Also, because this could be quite a good way to get foils, honestly. Like, if you came in with some really strong cards, you could totally rig this to get yourself, like, a lot of over damage for foils. Skull... And... Wing. What do you got? Ooh. Well, this is not what I was expecting. I'm guessing you're going to be using orange gems, my friend. Just imagine. You are an ice cube. Slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificence will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. Sure you will. Your card has a hole in it. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. If the maintenance owner controls no mox cards... Interesting. Alright, well, we're gonna put you... doesn't really matter where. Just put you down to get a hit in. We're gonna take two hits now. Then we can put the miner down to kill this thing. Sure. Management requires a mox card to exist and therefore dies. Cool stuff. Uh, we'll play... You? I get the feeling we're gonna die. Not a huge amount I can do about that. Hit. Hit, hit. Nothing I can play, nothing, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Yep! Okay. Let's try this again. Perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I cannot. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Take this pack. I mean, you're a lot more challenging than the green guy. Only person about to fight as many times as you is the... What's his face? Go! Um, the Trapper, who's like my biggest enemy, so... Alright, up we go! No! God damn it, it's doing that thing again! Alright, what's in the box? Chest is empty, save for a single card. A rabbit. Interesting. I do get the feeling from the last few fights, my deck is not all that good. There's something here. Ooh, hello! Skull. Interesting. So is it Skull Rabbit? Is that an option? Rabbit, and then can I guess just Brute force it. Hmm. Alright, what do you got? The top sigil is found by the greedy, so that's. Rabbit. Then that's Skull. The middle sigil is found by the pale. 
The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing, or by those who hear too easily. What? I thought it might be something to do with the music. Well, we know it's a skull. One of these is a skull. Found by the greedy, I'm guessing it's the chest. So that's a rabbit. Middle sigil is found by the... Hang on. I got it. Where do I get my audio? Shovel. That's the middle sigil, right? No, that's the bottom sigil. Shovel. Then I can't just... Tell me this ain't it? Oh, that was it. Whatever I just did. At last! Stimulation! My test has been the sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now! Hear me, Magnificence! I'm ready! We have to battle. Okay, let's do it. Okie dokie. What is happening here? If Jem find Jem Fiend's owner controls no mox gems, he perishes. Okay. Power mage will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. So putting um that guy there to block. Probably not all that useful. Alrighty. We're gonna put you down to break the gem. Does back there count? Probably. Not that it matters because they're dead now. Ow. Okay, we're gonna put you here. This should equal out the balance a little bit. Oh, we're gonna take a nasty hit here. Okie dokie, we're gonna get rid of you, because you're quite powerful, and then we'll... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he emerges from the deep. Put here to smack both of these gems down in one go. Nice. Alright, well, only you left. Guess we just wait. Oh no, you'll never attack the witch. I'm gonna have to hammer you. Am I? I guess I could, well, over damage is gonna be, well, we don't actually get more damage. Yeah, we'll win this way anyway. I was just trying to think what would give me the most over damage. Okay, so far orange head on a pole was the best. That was incredibly stimulating. We, we, we are done, right? I wish to see the light again. To sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? I uh, absolutely would, and I'd like to leave as soon as humanly possible. Bye-bye. If I open the door, you'll, you'll stop by on the way out and let me out, right? If I can figure out how to do that, sure. I will absolutely do that. Well, talk to you in just a moment, sir. 
The note reads, Dress Yamora, I believe PO3's plot may go far beyond the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, the Great Transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider... What's your painting? Hmm? I'm just gonna go through this way and see what's over here. Interesting. Very interesting. What is it? Um, hello. What just happened? I literally have no clue what I just did. Okay. I guess it's time to talk. Ah, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No, no matter. There are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition. Your eye is a little freaky. The future is very, very grim. Say that again. <sighs> First, we must battle. Ooh, that was a cool transition. Out loud. Behold, the brush of the scribe of magic. My pupils would die to be painted by it, and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Excuse me. Now for a bit of color. Hey dude. Are you just changing my sigils? Having fun, buddy? Once Exector is struck, so he just changed my sigils randomly. Actually, might have made Leap a bot better. What does this do? When minus it provides green gem, orange gem. Okay, so this is everything. We'll just go for that, I guess. Not that it, it will do anything because this can't attack. Oh, now it, now it can. Okie dokie. Well, that was kind of rude. Now you've made that card worthless to me. Let's attack you because you actually do damage. And we'll sacrifice you to attack here because the Mox card can't do damage if this person is dead. Sure. Shouldn't you have to taken damage that turn? That's very rude. Very rude of you. Um I should have turned the music down, Jesus. Sure. You didn't take damage. Oh there you did. A spike digs in. Mm, I can't do anything this turn. I'm gonna die. I don't have. I need to get more low cost cards in my deck because these high cost cards are no good if I can't blast long enough to get them. Well, I'm gonna die. Alright, let's do this. Interesting. You've made a rabbit for me. Sure, block an attack. I guess it's kind of a mixed bag, because like the rabbit is better now. But not by, like, a huge amount.
What was I supposed to do? You draw cards equal to the amount of mox cards. Oh, and I don't have any mox cards. That'll kill you. You don't do anything now. I'm gonna take some damage this turn, but that's fine. Oh, come on. My Mantis card was actually a really good card. This is a tough one. Um, I'm gonna kill you so I can put you down to block this attack. Because you're not doing anything at the moment and I need to block an attack. Alright, well, we now have four. Thank you for making that card worthless. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll put you here. Maybe this would be a fight where, like, stacking some magic cards into my deck would be useful, because all of these sigils have to do with magic. So maybe getting some magic would be useful. You've made Squirrel Ball useless. Okay, we're doing a little better. Ah, they also, like, were only useful because they did that, and now you've made them... You're taking away everything that makes these cards good. I'm still gonna win, but it's just annoying. I'll play you so I can get another you. Is that exactly the same as the last? Oh no, I don't get another you because that sigil is taken away. There we go. Hmm. I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. I bet you don't do that. That'd be great. I guess just keep going. What's his plan here? Steambot. Okay. We're going to get rid of... You. Bring Steambot in. Steambot pulls out a rabbit. What the heck? When a rabbit perishes, a ruby mox is created in its place. That's nice. Win it! Okay. That wasn't too bad. It's just about overcoming very well. Overcoming your cards not doing what you think they do anymore. Only one left, and it sounds like you're trying to create an insurrection. I, I think Leshy did create an insurrection? Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers. It was excised! Is your eye the one that was in the box that I put into my head and then it let me see magic? By none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. Yeah, I beat him. Twice. Two different ways. And a beast he is. Arrogant. Single-minded. Obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become... Hegemon? You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of. Come on, dude. You gotta charge your battery. This is the second time I've had to deal with this. You, there, it's interesting because there's like two different lores. There's the lore of what's happening in the game with everyone. And there's the lore of... Like, whatever's happening with this guy. Are these the same videos? Is this the one where you send the email? I think I've just got to send it. Yes. To whom it may concern, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. Okay. No new lore, so... 
You receive a... Whoa, okay. You receive a magical card there. So it's P3 out. He is my problem. When an opposing creature is placed, Ball Town will move. Okay. Oh, more, ca more cards? You do spoil me. Okay, where'd they go? Curious. What happened over here? Curiouser and curiouser. Let's leave. Can I free you guys? No? Okay, well. I tried. Only one place left to go. The final guy. The scribe of technology. The one who I came to challenge. I didn't know I was coming to challenge him, but then I made the choice.